In this video, you will learn how to call Python code from MATLAB. To do this, we will use a sentiment analysis example. Suppose a person says this was the best concert they ever attended. A sentiment analysis algorithm will look at this text and output what it thinks is the intent or the sentiment of the person. In this case, it should predict that this is a positive statement. On the other hand, if the person says they dropped their ice cream on the floor and they are sad, then the algorithm should predict a negative sentiment. The sentiment analysis program might look like this. We listen to an audio source like a microphone, detect text from the audio signal, and then classify the text using our sentiment analysis model. Suppose I'm doing all my development in MATLAB, but my colleague already has Python code to perform the speech-to-text conversion. Instead of rewriting this code or finding a new solution, I want to still use the Python code for speech-to-text and do the rest of my work in MATLAB. Let's first see our Python code. I have a Python module that uses the speech recognition package, and particularly the Pocket Sphinx software from Carnegie Mellon University, to recognize text from speech. In this package, my colleague provided an audio to text function. This accepts an audio signal along with its sampling frequency and channel width, and returns the detected text and a Boolean flag indicating whether the detection was successful. Going to MATLAB, here is our live script showing the entire sentiment analysis process. First, I will use the PyVersion function to see which version of the Python interpreter is being picked up by MATLAB. For me, it's picking up Python 3.7. Refer to the documentation to see which versions of Python are supported for your release of MATLAB and how to set additional options. In this step, I'm also adding my colleague's Python module to the Python path. Next, I will use the built-in audio recorder function in MATLAB to listen to my microphone and display the resulting audio signal. Let's listen to five seconds and give the program a sentence to test. For example, I went to my favorite restaurant and had a delicious meal. Now that we have the audio data, it's time to call the Python code. With this line of code, I'm instructing MATLAB to call the audio to text function in the my speech recognizer Python package. I can then extract the output data from the returned list of Python outputs. We have the recognized text in MATLAB. Finally, I will call a MATLAB function to perform sentiment analysis. As you can see, the predicted sentiment is positive, which seems correct. If you're wondering what's in this function, I am using a built-in sentiment analysis algorithm called Vader from Text Analytics Toolbox. That concludes our example. To summarize, let's talk about why you would want to call Python from MATLAB. The workflow we showed fits if you are already working in MATLAB and want to use Python to solve part of the problem. This could be either that you have existing Python code that you would like to reuse, or you need to access functionality that is only available in Python. To learn more, check out the resources below. Also, make sure to watch our other video on how to call MATLAB from Python.